friends. We're back for another story. This one is called Who Will Be My Friends? Story and Pictures by Sid Hoff. These are the kind of books I read when I was learning to read in first grade, so they have nice memories for me. This book was actually written in 1960, which was even before I was born, which is, makes it a pretty old story. But you know what? The, the message in the book is, is the same then as it is now about friendship. So let's read this. So Who Will Be My Friends? Story and Pictures by Sid Hoff. So he did both, which is pretty good. Um, and it, it was published in 1960, like I said. So the story begins with Freddie moved into a new house. Has that ever happened to you where you've had to move into a house and change schools? He liked his room. He liked the street. Who will be my friends, he asked. He rolled his ball to a little dog. He rolled his ball to a cat. They did not roll it back. Who will be my friends, he asked. I am your friend, said the policeman. Policemen are important people that we need to listen to. Um, when something goes wrong or so there's an emergency, a policeman is definitely going to be one of the people that can help you. Firemen, too. I am your friend, said the mailman, and I am your friend, said the street cleaner. Yes and no, right? Because they are friendly, but they're not really going to be Freddy's friends that he can play with after school and stuff like that. So they are friendly, not exactly friends. Let's play ball, said Freddy. I have to walk my beat, said the policeman. I have to bring the mail, said the mailman, and I have to clean the street, said the street cleaner. You know, and a lot of kids like to hang out with adults. Um, I know a lot of kids that would actually prefer to talk to adults because, you know, we are pretty easy to talk to and we're really good listeners and sometimes other kids might not be that. But, as you can see, adults are also really busy and have to get things done and go to work. So it is better to find some friends that are your age that do have time to play ball. Who will be my friend, said Freddie. He went to the playground. Boys were playing ball. Who will be my friends, asked Freddie. The boys went right on playing. They didn't really pay attention to him, huh? I guess I'll have to play by myself, said Freddie. He threw his ball up in the air and caught it. He threw his ball up in the air and caught it again. He threw it still higher and caught it. Can you see the boys are now like, oh, maybe we should pay attention to this guy. Who will be my friends, asked Freddie. We will, said the boys. We need someone who can throw and catch like that. Let's shake on it, said Freddy. And they did. So there's one place in the story where I think Freddy could have done something different, and that's the lesson that I want to teach you about, especially when you're, when you're needing to make new friends or join a new group. So he tried to join, and they ignored him because he asked a question, and it didn't really help him. So when you want to make a new friend or when you want to join a group of kids that's already playing together, the best thing to do is to say, hey, I'd like to play with you. Tell me what you're doing or what game you're playing. That's a lot different than asking a question like, who wants to play with me or can I play with you? Because those questions may not get answered and actually can I play with you is a yes or no question. So sometimes they might even say no. So joining a group, you want to say, hey, I'd like to play with you. And then say, tell me what you're playing or what the rules are. And then it's really important if you join a group, this is an important step for you to remember, that you want to conform, it's a big word, but that means do exactly what everybody else is doing. So when you join the group, you don't want to get in there and try to change the rules or make things complicated. You can make a suggestion, and if they say no, you know, it's the rules of the game that they're already playing, so you should follow along. If you don't, if you end up not liking what they're playing and you want to do your own rules, then, th then you really need to go start your, your own thing or your own game. Right? So that's how to join in and make some new friends, and I will look forward to our next story time together. Thanks for being here.